Malaria is still a serious health problem in Thailand. In 2012, there were over 35,000 cases that resulted in 37 deaths. Mayong Son was the province with the third highest incidence of malaria at a rate of 6.12 per thousand people, and this was 32 times the country's average rate. The province is situated in a mountain range adjoining Myanmar. There are many hard to reach areas in which a porous border allows locals and migrant workers to transit between countries at will and outside of the control of authorities. Costs associated with sickness, including time off from work and transportation to seek treatment, depletes further poor families' already meagre incomes. Among certain ethnic and hill tribe cultures, there remains the belief that ghosts and ill-tempered spirits cause sicknesses. This is especially true of diseases like malaria that exhibit symptoms of chill and temperature fluctuation. Absenteeism and poor school performance due to malaria illness hinder children's hopes to educate themselves out of poverty. Malaria is thus a major contributory factor keeping people trapped in a never-ending cycle of poverty. Malaria is a curable disease, but waiting even one or two days for treatment can mean life or death for a malaria patient. It is painful for families to watch their loved ones die unnecessarily from malaria. During a single 30-day period, four people tragically lost their lives to malaria. One of the victims was the mother of a one-month-old child. It is an awful thing for a baby to grow up without knowing its mother's love. In each case that proved to be fatal, the cause was traced back to either a lack of timely diagnosis or an inaccurate disease diagnosis which hindered or delayed the proper administration of time-sensitive treatments. Although the geography makes travel to some areas difficult, the technology is now available in even the most remote areas. In order to reduce the malaria fatality rate, the WebScope was invented at the regional laboratory and was based on the need of malaria field workers in remote areas. The first system of WebScope was aimed to enable real-time microscopic consultation of difficult or equivocal diagnostic cases. When a malaria field worker was uncertain about a diagnosis, the WebScope was activated and connected to the internet for online consultation with an expert microscopist at the reference laboratory. Patients then received treatment following the conclusion of the consulting discussion. The second system targeted a reduction in slide cross-checking time and improving the quality of blood slide preparation to reach the standard requirement. The results of this new system being implemented were dramatic. Average blood slide confirmation times tumbled from 21 days to just 10 minutes. The problem of poor blood slide preparation was solved. All blood slide preparation met quality standards which reduced malaria microscopic diagnosis errors. The accuracy of blood slide examination rose to 99.9% .9 even with low paracetamia. The WebScope has been used for health education to increase awareness of malaria patients on the importance of adhering to drug dosages and to return to the malaria clinic for follow-up checks and guidance. Allowing the patients and their relatives to view the examined blood on monitor screens helped to dispel belief in ghosts and spirits. The community built trust and began to head straight to malaria health workers whenever they had a fever. They also started to more keenly participate in malaria control activities, such as using mosquito nets and allowing the inside of their homes to be sprayed with insecticide. 100% of community villagers were tested for malaria in mass blood surveys. At the first and second weeks of school semester, all students, Thais and non-Thais, who returned from their home in high-risk areas along the border were tested by school teachers and border patrol police for malaria using a microscope. Health education in schools was also set up using the WebScope. 
it increased students' attention and understanding about malaria. 769 students from Mei Hong Son province were reported as having malarial infection in 2012. By 2016, this was reduced to 243. For the last three years, there has been a zero recorded death rate, a reduction in severe malaria incidents. The initiative had also been incorporated into the work plan of the Department of Disease Control for replication to use as diagnosis of intestinal parasitic infection for the most at-risk population and students in schools in rural remote areas. In November 2016, the initiative was also invited for booth exhibition in the ACT Malaria 20th Anniversary in the Philippines. Participants were from all countries in the Southeast Asia and Asia Pacific and it is featured on the website. ขอบคุณที่มาให้ความรู้ว่าหนูนะคะวันนี้สนุกมากเลยค่ะสุดยอดเลยครับ